try some expressions here. Now we're going to use a particular rule. We're going to use the distributive property for exponentiation through multiplication and division and also use the power rule which is a to the b to the power of c is a to the bc. Okay, using these rules and the distribution through the multiplication and division, let's start on the left. So we have negative 3 to the power of 3, y squared to the power of 3 over z to the power of 3. So that's the distributive property where I'm bringing through all of the powers. Now negative 3 to the power of 3 is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. That would be negative 27. y squared cubed by the power rule would be y to the sixth. And then z cubed is just simply z cubed. So that would be our final answer to this problem. Let's try the one on the right. 2 squared x cubed squared and z to the fifth squared. There's the distributive property. Now 2 squared of course is 2 times 2 which is 4. x to the third to the square is x to the sixth and z to the 5 to the 2 is going to be z to the 5 times 2 which is 10. So the final answer here is 4x to the 6th, z to the 10th. Okay, why don't you try one on your own? Pause the video and see if you can do this one. Assuming you paused the video and gave it a shot, let's do it together now. Looks like we have negative 3 squared x squared squared y squared over z squared squared w cubed squared. So now we'll just do each one individually using the power rules. Negative 3 times negative 3 would be 9. x squared squared multiply the exponents would be 4. Then a little y squared over z squared squared would also be 4, so that would be z to the power of 4. And then the w is going to have a 3 and a 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, and that one's going to be w to the 6th. So the final answer for this one was 9x to the 4th y squared over z4th w to the 6th.